What's up, guys? Today we're going to go over enchanting and anvils. Um, so in particular, how you can use the enchantment table, um, what goes into getting the best enchantments, and how you can use the anvil and the enchantment table together to get uh, tools and armor that have the most enchantments possible. All right, so starting with the enchanting table, um, when you first place down the enchanting table, um, like if I move this away from my bookshelves, um, you will be met with a UI that looks like this. Um, there'll be a lapis slot because you'll need lapis azuli in order to do enchantments. Um, and then a slot on the left that you put the tools or whatever you're enchanting into. Um, if you see enchantments here, that means the tool can be enchanted. And if you don't see anything, it means it cannot be enchanted. Um, the levels are the, sorry, the numbers on the left here are how many experience levels it's going to take in order to do the enchantment. And they'll light up if I put lapis in there. And the number on the right is how good the enchantment is. And it's also the minimum number of levels you need in experience uh, to do the enchantment. So like this one will require me to be at least level four. And then when I do it, it'll use three experience levels. Um, now to increase the, uh, like how good the enchantments are, because like the bottom one is unbreaking one, uh, which isn't very good. You want to add bookshelves around the enchantment table. And in particular, you can add them uh, spaced by one block away from the enchantment table, and you can do it in kind of a ring. Um, and you need at least 15 bookshelves. Um, I think I have 18, including my corners here, um, to get the maximum level, which is 30 um, enchantments. So now I need a minimum of 30 levels for this bottom one or 20 for this one, and then it'll still cost me three experience levels. So I recommend getting bookshelves ASAP because it's just going to give you significantly better enchantments. Um, so now when we want to enchant something, we just put it in there and we can click on it. So as we can see, we got three enchantments from that, even though it said we were only going to get knockback two. Um, the thing that it says on like on this efficiency four in this case, um, is what you're guaranteed to get when you click on it. Um, it doesn't mean that it's going to be the only thing you get. Like I got three different enchantments off of this and I actually got Bane of Arthur about five, which is crazy. Um, so this is, you're guaranteed to get the enchantment here, but it doesn't mean it's going to be the only one you get. Um, you want to get the maximum, like as many enchantments off the enchantment table directly as possible. Um, this can be done through trial and error. Um, so like I did that one and I got efficiency four and unbreaking, but let's say I wanted fortune. You can use a grindstone in order to get rid of the enchantment um, and return it back to like it's an un unenchanted state. Um, and the reason for this is because you can't re-enchant something that's already enchanted. Like this one we just enchanted. We can't do it again. Um, and this can also be useful because this enchantment right here will change every time you do something. Um, so it's also useful to have books sometimes because, for example, like un I don't really want Unbreaking. I want Fortune, for example. You can refresh which one it is um, by, like, let's say I just do this one, by using a book and doing the cheapest one. So now it's efficiency four, that's better, uh, but it's still not fortune three. I used the first one and now it's fortune three. Um, so now I can do that one. And then I got lucky and also got efficiency four. Um, so that's how you can use uh, books and things in order to get the enchantment that you want. Um, books, you can enchant uh, the same way, but they don't have like a list of enchantments necessarily that they're limited to. Like, for example, if I do a pickaxe, I'm not going to get Bane of Arthropods or something on it. At least I don't think I would. Um, you're not going to get certain enchantments on it. You're certainly not going to get protection or something, um, which means that you're much more likely to get enchantments that you want on the tool when you're enchanting the tool directly, whereas the book is just like any old enchantment that you can get. Um, I find that books uh, don't really get multiple enchantments as often as tools do, um, but they do get them sometimes. Uh, so in addition to uh, being able to refresh uh, the enchantment that you have on a tool, um, they can be useful for getting enchantments onto a tool that's already enchanted. Um, so for example, like protection three, let's see if I can get one that's good. Yeah, fire aspect, cool. So let's say that I like these enchantments a lot, like Bane of Arthropods five is really good. Um, and I already, have, I already have fire aspect, dang it. Um, and I have knockback. Let's try to get one that I don't have on it. Um, Sharpness three, yeah, sure. It's mutually exclusive with Bane of uh, Bane of Arthropods. Unbreaking. There we go. All right. And yeah, this can get very experience expensive 
So you want to be careful. So I don't want to have to re-enchant the sword. So what we can do is use the anvil. Now the anvil lets you combine things into one item. Um, so in this case, if I want to add enchantments to something that I've already enchanted, you use the anvil for this. So this doesn't have unbreaking, but I do want it to have unbreaking. So I got to go find the unbreaking book and we will put it into the slot and it will allow us to add the unbreaking enchantment to it. Um, it also lets you rename the sword. Um, and that will cost a little bit extra as well. Now, the anvil, as good as it seems, can only do this combination so many times. So if I did this and then I wanted to add another book, uh, like if I add fire aspect, now it's going to be five experience instead of three. Um, this will do nothing because fire aspect can only go to level two and I already have level two. But you can only add so many books, um, enchantment books, to uh, enchanted items before it'll get too expensive. Um, and too expensive is that if it's 39 cost, it'll let you do it. But anything above it, um, it just simply won't let you combine them anymore. Um, so yeah, if this is below 40, it'll work. But if it gets above 40, it will not work anymore. Um, so you want to minimize the number of books that you add. Now, the anvil can also be used to repair items. So I don't know why... Um, I don't know why I'd want to do this, but let's say I have that and I want to repair it. I could put netherite in here and it will make it full, like full durability at a cost. Um, this gets very expensive. I would recommend uh, against this and use mending enchantment instead, um, which allows you to repair your tools with experience. Um, and this is a very experience heavy process anyway. So having an experience farm kind of has a double um, use here for both getting the enchantments and repairing your tools. Um, the repair cost is very expensive. It'll make the like, it'll make the cost of adding stuff to your sword much more expensive. Uh, like this, like if I repaired it with a diamond, this would be like ten now. Um, so I'd recommend against repairing stuff, but you can do that. You can also combine two different um, tools of the same type in order to repair them, as well as to add and combine the uh, enchantments. So if this had an enchantment that this one did not, they would combine together. And you can also see that it's repairing my durability. I again recommend against this because it will be very expensive to do that over time um, and to add mending instead, which you can get from a librarian or from around the map. Now the anvil also itself has a durability. You can only uh, combine so many things. Like let's say if I could just sit here and combine books constantly. Um, It'll eventually break and it'll be visual. Um, it'll be visual, right? So now I've broken it. So now it's a little bit more broken and you can see that on the top there. And the anvil itself will eventually break. So you want to use it as little as possible if you're strapped for iron. Um, and also I just made this monstrous book, right? Now, just because they, I can make that book, doesn't mean that I can necessarily use it on my sword. Because now adding this costs 23 levels um and it's also going to strip any of the enchantments that don't work on a sword out which is most of them um and sharpness five also gets cut out because it doesn't go with bane of uh bane of arthropods either so you want to be careful just combining everything into a single book because it makes it really expensive um and again if that goes above 39 it's not going to let you do it at all but i can still do it if i wanted to um adding another book now we can see what the cost of that might be. Um, knockback, beautiful. So if we go and add another one, it'll be 39. So now this would be the last thing that I could do to my sword. Um, so you, you want to be very like conservative with how you use the anvil. But this is how you add all of the enchantments. The method uh, for getting all the enchantments, such as this thing, um, would be to go and... Go to the grind. Uh, I'm gonna go to the grindstone. The grindstone resets all of the anvil stuff, so now it'll act as if I just made the sword. Um, the method here is you want to get as many enchantments off of the enchantment table as possible. So if I want to get like all seven, I think enchantments um, on my sword, I want to get like three enchantments directly off of the enchantment table. So we're gonna just do this over and over again until we get what we want. Um, I don't know why it's not giving me multiple. 
I'm getting extremely unlucky. Um, yeah, so this is the method. Um, and maybe because I renamed it. Maybe it's weird because I renamed it or something. Um, I'll use my pickaxe instead. So you want to get as many enchantments off the enchantment table directly as possible. So yeah, I got three. So now the only thing that I would want to add to this is probably mending. And then I'd have like the exact same thing as this pickaxe, except for efficiency five instead of efficiency four. Um, you can increase the level of the enchantment by adding another efficiency four or whatever enchantment it is to the tool through the anvil. Um, so that's how you can get efficiency five and like protection and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, essentially that's really all there is to it. Um, it's very XP intense and using books is a little bit harder to get what you want directly, but they're cheaper to add to tools, um, than combining two different tools, uh, in the same thing. So yeah, so I just got efficiency four books. Now I can make it a deficiency five book and this still costs me five. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time.